Rewatching the first Jurassic Park recently, I was struck by how many times referred to dinosaurs as birds. Look at the pubic bone, turned backward, just like a bird. Look at the vertebrae, full of air sacs and hollows, just like a bird. Like that was not a common thought back in the day when it was made. Huxley. Late 1800s, they found Bachyopteryx. And he was like, ah, looks like a bird. That doesn't look very scary, more like a turkey. He put two things together right back then, and everyone else yeah. used them. Now I'm like, this is it, you know, it's not a bird. And then it was forgotten about until about 1970s when the dinosaur nations kicked off. Found Deinonychus, Robert Backer. I don't know if he described it, but, but he at least worked. And, and at that point, they suddenly became fast and, you know, they may be warm blooded and they weren't these sluggish uh, reptiles that died out because they were too stupid to live. And then after that, Jurassic Park just kicked up another gear. Because every film before that, I mean, the, the early reconstructions were dragging a big lizard tail and standing upright and very slow moving. Basically, Komodo dragons, but bigger, was the impression. Yeah, even like things of sword pods were out to eat you and everyone trying to kill each other all the time. That's all they did. <laughs> mm. but, yeah, I, I do think opinions are changing now. And, um, you know, to be fair to even like, when the first Jurassic World film, it starts with a bird stamping its foot down. And you're like, oh, there's, that's a dinosaur foot. And then it zooms out and it's a crow or something. It's like, you know, like... We we'll see what you you're doing. If you're, going, if you're going to those films like, I'm going to learn about paleontology, you're an idiot. Like, it, it context is that it's, it's entertainment.